In this video I will show you how you can create impact frames for your combat systems, so stay until the end of the video to find out how to do it. Also if you want this whole flying and combat system, you can find that on my Patreon, link in the description. Ok, so to start off, grab yourself a dummy and then insert a highlight inside of him. And mine will be white, so I'll just uh, recolor it and fill transparency can be zero, so you can fully see the character. And then uh, cut it and go down to your replicated storage. And by the way, I'm using the drag system from a previous video. So just so we have a combat system and a creator system. And you can just paste it here or if you have an FX folder or something else like that, you can paste it in that like me. So after you paste it inside of the replicate storage or the FX folder, go into the lighting and here we will create a few uh, color corrections. So I already have three of mine, but I will explain how to do it. So click the plus icon, uh, select color correction effect. In here you can mess with stuff. So currently it's enabled. So everything I changed uh, will be visible. So here, uh, I don't know, I recommend you maybe up the contrast. So it has this like, basically it just looks like odd. It looks kind of weird. I uh, can even like up it to maybe five. And you can also mess with the saturation. For example, you can lower it. Damn, this actually looks kind of good. Okay, okay, but I will delete that for now. And I will show you the settings of my other ones. So we have black color correction, uh, which is disabled. So I disable all of these. And the brightness zero, contrast zero, saturation zero. And I colored it black. So when we enable this, uh, the whole screen will be black. So if we take the highlight effect, paste it inside of our character, and then enable this, you can see that only the character with the highlight is visible. Of course, the GUI is also visible, but that doesn't really matter. This is the main thing about the impact frames. They make the character that is hit or is hitting something and a few other effects are visible with like contrast colors. Okay, I will disable it now and we can even delete this. I also have a light red color correction, so it kind of adds this red glow to things. I just want to use this because I think just having a black color correction is kind of basic so I added three of these and you can have as many as you want and this is the uh basic red color correction so uh, saturation is 0.5 contrast is 5 so it's like either very dark or it's like completely red from the uh, direction of the sun and now i will disable them so there's two ways you can do this you can either keep them inside of this or you can create a folder either in lighting or replicate storage I recommend replicate storage then you can like cut these put them inside of a folder and then every time we need them, you can just clone them, paste them inside the lighting. But I think uh, for this showcase, this is a better way to do it. And unless you don't have like a lot of things inside of the lighting, it's probably best for you to just leave these inside the lighting. But if you have many skyboxes, atmospheres or whatever other color corrections, then you can use the clone method. And for this, we'll create a module script so we can call it from wherever you want. So since uh, this is a track system, as I said before from the previous video, I already have uh, some of the module scripts but yours will basically be inside the replicate storage or you can also create a modules folder which is really useful to store all of your module scripts and now when i open it uh, first thing we get is the breeze and the breeze is a service used to uh, basically add a delay to something and then after that delay it gets destroyed then we of course get all of the uh, color corrections we made we get the highlight which is inside the replicate storage inside of the effects and then we create a function also at the start it will probably so let me just show you how it looks so when you just create a module script it will look like this and what i like to do is copy the name of the module script which in this case is impact frame module and then paste it here just so i know what the module script is when i'm inside of it and not to need to look above here okay we can delete that so basically i just rename this and then do function and then paste the name dot new so this is how we can call the function from either server script or a client script and inside you can put player and enemy so if you don't want the player uh, or actually the player's character to light up you don't need to put this so then you can just delete this and leave enemy or even if you don't even want to enemy so if you don't want to use highlights whatsoever, which I don't know, it kind of doesn't make sense because this is an impact frame uh, system. But you can also just delete that and uh, this part and also these two lines and this one. So that will leave you just with the color correction. First we get the light red. So this really doesn't matter. You can have them in whichever order you want. I think this is the 
best one I managed to come up with. Uh, so, and also you can have as many of them as you want. So you can have like other effects, maybe even GUI on the screen. So if you have like, I don't know, um, what are those like anime lines called? I don't know, I I'll put it on the screen now so you'll be able to see it. But basically you can maybe put those in a starter GUI and then if you have the player here and for example we can do player dot uh, player gui dot uh, screen gui or i mean it won't be screen gui but like anime lines or whatever it's named and then you can enable it and disable it but to go over uh, the color correction uh, first i enable uh, light red color correction and then you have to be like precise with this so it should be like really really fast so this is 0 0.05 seconds and then after that we clone the highlight i put it inside the player's character and we turn off the light red color correction turn on the red color correction wait 0.1 second and turn it off again and then if the enemy so if there's an enemy then i also uh, clone the highlight again uh, so another variable then we parent it to the enemy's character so yeah basically uh, this needs to be a player a local player or basically you and this needs to be an enemy model so not humanoid not uh, i don't know what it needs to be a enemy model so if i take for example this dummy this is a enemy model so it will just insert itself like this and after that we use the breeze for 0.1 seconds so you use the breeze with um, colon add item exactly like this here you put an item or an instant that you want to delete in this case that will be highlight 2 and then the time you want it to be deleted after which in this case is 0.1 second and then we do a black color correction dot enabled equals true and then wait 0.1 seconds then we destroy the highlight inside of the player and in case you're wondering why is this using destroy and this using the breeze because in my case i don't want the enemy to be highlighted like every time for example uh, i have a so let's just actually showcase that i have a system of falling let's show you again so th that was my impact frame and as you can see there are no enemies around so i don't want anything uh, that's like a dummy or an npc to be highlighted so that's the reason we have this if statement because not always will there be an npc around when you are using the impact frame but of course if you want to use this only in the combat you don't really need this if statement either and you can also use the breeze on this and then after 0.1 seconds we of course disable the black color correction and that's pretty much it so now i'll show you uh, two examples i have like a local a client example so if you go inside of the uh, landing script i made in the previous video so it's right here uh, started character scripts uh, first of all how do you call a module so this is how you do it so you need to do um, basically variable name and then do a require so this is how you call a module otherwise if you don't do this require it won't work then do replicate storage dot modules or wherever it is and then find the module script and down here since this is landing and i don't expect like any npcs we just use impact frame module dot new and then put player inside so that's the only thing we need here because i don't expect there to be an enemy and then inside the uh, server script so we call it with the same variable and then just down here we also do dot new so nothing's really that special we just put uh, again the player and this time since we do have an enemy that is uh, up here taking damage then we do just a uh, part dot parent because i think this is the part that is being hit and then its parent is the enemy character so if i join the game uh, we have these enemies here and you can kind of see how it looks so every time i hit them they like light up we get those coral correction stuff And you maybe don't even want to use this like every time you hit something because it, it can get kind of annoying so maybe use this only in like i don't know special attacks or after like a few punches in a combo but i put it to be on every punch just to showcase it and that's it that's how we make impact frames inside of roblox so i think this looks kind of good obviously it can be improved so you can write down in the comments how you think i can improve this and leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching